First, just put a shout out uh, to uh, www.pastorpaulgold.com on behalf of noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. And you can call them this morning at 877 646 5347. Uh, the information that they want to share with you today is if you're trying to navigate to market um, turbulence, if you're trying to navigate through this tur a very weird time, why not set course to the Noble Gold Investment safe haven at www.pastorpaulgold.com. With global uncertainty looming, your savings and retirement plans are under siege. But there's one asset that stood the test of time gold. It is a biblical currency. Unlock the peace of mind that comes with owning gold and the ultimate safe haven it provides. And if precious metals are new to you, <clears throat> Noble Gold Investment will hold your hand through the whole process. They have a team of experts who will guide you every step of the way to safety. Thousands of investors have sheltered their retirement savings by going to www.pastorpaulgold.com. Don't leave yourself exposed to the markets right now. It's way too risky. But with gold at an all-time high, looking to climb further, this would be a perfect time. Matter of fact, over at Op uh, Noble Gold Investments, you can open an IRA or roll over that 401k, <clears throat> secure your future, and they will give you this three ounces of pure silver, uh, America silver, virtue coin for free so this is a, a good way to get off to a great start with a new year with www.pastorpaulgold.com again you can call them at 877-646-5347 and tell them that pastor paul sent you there well The Earth is anticipated to experience the effects of a geomagnetic storm on Monday due to an incoming solar storm that erupted on the Sun on Sunday. A magnetic filament ejected from the Sun's surface resulting in a coronal mass ejection, also known as a CME, that is expected to collide with Earth's atmosphere around 1 p.m. Eastern Time, according to NASA. When a CME interacts with Earth's magnetosphere, it generates geomagnetic storms. NOAA assesses the strength of geomagnetic storms on a scale from G1, which is a minor, to G5, which is extreme. The upcoming solar storm is projected to be a G2, with a possibility of reaching G3. A storm watch has been issued, and while the general public need not be overly concerned, the moderate storm could potentially cause technological disruptions upon reaching Earth. The collision of a CME may lead to issues such as GPS disturbances, satellite problems, power grid issues, and the visibility of northern lights far further south than usual, as noted by NOAA. Coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, are triggered by magnetic activity on the sun's surface, expelling large amounts of solar plasma into space, WFTV9 reported. These solar plumes propelled at millions of miles per hour, can originate from sunspots, which are dark areas on the sun's surface, where magnetic field line activity often results in energetic explosions. This is according to space.com. Upon colliding with Earth's magnetic field, the solar material can cause disturbances, initiating a geomagnetic storm. In the latest survey conducted by the economist YouGov, former President Donald Trump is leading President Joe Biden among independent voters. When respondents were asked about their preferences in a hypothetical matchup between Trump and Biden, the overall results showed a narrow gap of one percentage point with 44% favoring Biden and 43% favoring Trump. However, among independent voters, Trump holds a three-point advantage over Biden, with 40% support compared to Biden's 37%. Additionally, 9% of independents chose, quote, other, 5% were, quote, not sure, and 8% stated, quote, I would not vote. It's noteworthy that the same survey indicated a challenging situation for Biden, with an overall approval rating of 40% 
and a disapproval rating of 54%, Breitbart News reported. Among independents specifically, Biden faces even more significant hurdles, with 61% expressing disapproval and only 28% indicating approval. In the latest and deadliest fighting in Gaza this January, Israeli forces advance deep into western Khan Yunus, storming one hospital and placing another under siege. The troops entered the Al Mawazi district for the first time, which is near the Mediterranean coast, west of Khan Yunus, and targeted the Al Kahir Hospital, arresting medical staff. This is according to Gaza Health Ministry spokesman Ashraf Al Kidra. As of now, there is no official statement from Israel on the situation at the hospital, and the military spokesperson's office has provided no comment. The military later reported that three Israeli soldiers were killed on Monday in southern Gaza, Reuters reported. Kidra reported at least 50 casualties overnight in Khan Yunis, and the siege of medical facilities has prevented rescuers from reaching dozens of dead and wounded. Tanks have also surrounded another hospital in Khan Yunis, Al Amal, the headquarters of the Palestinian Red Crescent, with the agency losing contact with staff there. Israel alleges that Hamas fighters operate in and around hospitals, which is a claim that both Hamas and medical staff are denying. <laughs> 